Hello, I'm Steve, a Dutch artist, and a few days ago I posted a video about all the new updates of Procreate 5X or Procreate 5.1. I got a lot of questions about the adjustments menu with the opacity and recolor that are gone. In this video I'll explain how you can use the same effects in a different way. Face paint is a cool new feature in reference, but it doesn't work on all iPads. In the description I have time codes for each function, so you can jump to the section you want. We'll also discuss some of other new features I forgot to mention in the last video, like drop color from palettes and using animation in your face paint. So let's get started. Adjustments. Opacity is now gone in the adjustments menu. It had to make way for all the new filters. There's another way to change the opacity. Go to the layers, select the layer and then press on the N. You will see the opacity slider. Recolor. Recolor is also gone in the adjustments menu. But there are some other ways to achieve the same effect. One has always been in Procreate and that is color drop. Choose your color in the color menu and drop it onto your canvas. Keep your finger or apple pencil onto the canvas and then adjust the color drop threshold by swiping from left to right to flood the color into your image. Another way of using recolor is to use the new gradient map. It's a little bit more aggressive than drop color. First duplicate your layer and then apply gradient map. Make your own gradient map by pressing on the plus. Now make both of the color swatches in the gradient the same color. Adjust the flood of your recolor of gradient map by going to your layer. Press on the N to change the opacity. Another option is to create a new layer and set it to multiply and set it on top of your layer. Then drop a color onto the layer and adjust the opacity. In this way you make changes that you can edit later. Face paint. Face paint is not supported by all iPads. Face paint uses the True Death camera on your iPad to map the image onto your face. iPads that support face paint are iPads with the A12 chip or above and a true death camera. Face paint animation. When you use face paint you can also use animations. If you have made an animation play it and the animation will be mapped onto your face. I will make a dedicated video tutorial on how to make some cool face paint animations, so subscribe and press on the notification bell to get a notification when I upload a new video. Transform. When you use Transform, you now can no longer rescale an object outside the box. You have to do it within the bounding box. When you pinch outside the bounding box, you can zoom in and out of the entire canvas. Zoom in if you have difficulty pinching from within the bounding box. Swatches color drop. You can now use drop color from your swatches. Select a swatch and hold it for a second and then drag it into the canvas. This is great if you want to color an illustration with closed shapes. If you have an inked layer, make it a reference layer and color in a separate layer. This is also very handy if you need to color an animation with the same colors. Extra features. New copy and paste menu. This is a new copy and paste menu. It's slimmer but still has the same functions. But you can move it around now. Crop and Resize. With Crop and Resize you can now change the DPI of your image. And use Snapping. Now you see numeric width and height when you crop and resize your image. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.